Now, listen, yo, you guys, if I ever stutter or if I fail to pronounce my words properly, just know that I have been gagged, okay? I just passed through Gig City, as Nicki Minaj rightfully said yesterday. Like, when she announced that she had an announcement, I know it sounds crazy saying that, well, she announced that she has an announcement but all i'm saying is that i didn't expect it to be vogue you guys and i am gigged i will definitely admit that okay we're going to be talking about that in this video we're also going to be talking about this entire rogue vision of cobra that has come out and how people feel about that now these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you are doing great personally i am doing great you guys i am doing amazing however i am unstable you guys Guys, Nicki Minaj just get the behind out of me, okay? I'm not even gonna get to you. <laughs> Listen, I am excited. Like, I'm I'm just so unstable, you guys. So Nicki Minaj had announced previously, like I recorded in my previous video, that while well, she had an announcement and she said that it was gonna come out at eight, and boy oh boy, it came out. And uh it is a Vogue magazine cover for um, you know, the December issue, and I was just like, mm, 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 mm. This is beautiful, okay? She, I'm just going to insert the pictures, you guys. In as far as the pictures are concerned, I'm just going to insert them, you guys, Um, you know, in this video. Uh, in one photo, she basically posed with Papa Bear. And when I tell you that they ate that photo, like, for me, it is one of my favorite. Well, all of them are my favorites, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. But this one with Papa Bear, really, for me, it really did stand out, okay? And they were fully covered up, but they were still looking stunning. And I love this photo. For Onika, and then there's another one, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna insert that one where she was wearing this. Is this champagne? No, it's not champagne. I don't know what color this is. I'm just gonna, I, I guess, I'm just color. I'm not color blind, but I actually don't know anything about colors. But well, I'm gonna insert that as well. And uh, there's this one with the black hat, you guys. I'm just like. It's giving rich, rich vibes. And the yellow one with the Dolce and Gabbana gown. Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't even know where to start. But hey, hop into the comment section, you guys. And let me know what you think about, um, you know, these pictures that she stunned in, um, you know, in Vogue with. And uh, now moving on, still talking about this entire Vogue thing. She also did the 73 questions. Um, and I just finished watching them. And I think there's a lot of things that we're going to be talking about regarding that entire interview with Vogue. Uh, listen. She spoke about a lot of things, okay? You know how quick they are with the questions and everything. And I'm just going to give you a little summary of what she spoke about. Before I do that, though, I would like to remind those manager babs that you see what we talk about when we say stay in your fence place, okay? Because, listen, nobody saw this coming, okay? She had an, an entire rollout planned. And people were like, oh, my goodness, the rollout is not it. Oh, my goodness, why is the album getting pushed back? But do you now see that she knows everything that she's out here doing? She has a rollout plan clearly, and you guys don't need to be telling her what to do, okay? Just because she's nice to her fans doesn't mean that we also have to take advantage of her, in my own opinion, okay? So some of the things that she spoke about, you guys, is who she would want to collaborate with, and um, that was a given, you guys. Of course, she did say Lauren Hill, because you do know that she has been, um, you know, her icon for the longest of time. Nikki has always had respect for Lauren Hill, and of course, I wasn't surprised when she came out and said that she would like to collaborate um you know with lauren hill and uh, she also said that a oh, while well, um she cited jay-z as uh, you know one of the people that she does look up to and she said the one thing that stands out about jay-z is um you know he's uh, he's a business savvy, per savvy person and um well she also spoke about low weight and said that he is a trendsetter okay and uh, in as far as advice is concerned she said that well the most important piece of advice somebody had ever given her was to stay high Humble. Now, do you understand why you would never catch Nicki Minaj on the internet wishing D on her fans, you know, wishing her fans would unalive themselves? It's because she has that grounding. And that honestly just made me fall in love with her more. Because listen, the people that see you on your way to the top are probably the same person you're going to see on your way down. So it is very important to treat everybody with kindness and uh, to not be looking down on anyone. Because one moment you're up there, the next moment you'll be literally selling whip shots. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I just had to be messy. <laughs> but all I'm saying is you need to be kind to people. You need to stay humble, you guys, because listen, the same people that brought you up will be capable of bringing you down. So 
I honestly do like that. You know what? In as much as she is funny and everything, she does come through with some gems, you guys, and things that really do help in real life, okay? And um, she said that her dream collaboration, if she you know, had the power to do that, would be Naz and Lauren Hill. And honestly speaking, I love to see Nicki Minaj giving these people their props. And you know, as far as the favorite movie is concerned, she said that what was her favorite was, of course, the Barbie movie, which is kind of expected. I mean, I, I mean, I, I expected that. So that really is no news. Um, the next thing also that she spoke about, you guys, she said that, oh, well, one of the projects, well, the project that actually did change her life was uh, Miss Education, okay, by, uh, of course, her icon. And so, yeah, you guys, it was a beautiful thing to watch and how she maintained, um, you know, keeping it fun and actually keeping it main, uh, meaningful, doing the different accents. I enjoyed watching that. And I think after this recording this video, I'm going to go back in there in case I missed some gems <laughs> so that I will pick up on those as well. And uh, she also opened up about, you know, the jobs that she was out here basically working on. Uh, she spoke about restaurant jobs, waitress, and she spoke about office management. She even said she sold fire extinguishers, you guys. That's a hardworking woman. And of all the jobs that she listed, you guys, none of them are easy jobs. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not just going to, none of them are lazy jobs you actually have to work you actually and all of them are reputable jobs if you ask me like they are jobs with integrity because if you're out here waking your behind um you know off in a restaurant saving people or office management it's hectic you guys selling fire extinguishers even I respect this woman more and more every day because she clearly never decided to take the easy route out, okay? She never was the one to take the easy way out, and I, I absolutely love her even more for that. So let me know in the comment section, you guys, did you know that Nikki Minaj at some point sold fire extinguishers? Oh my goodness, Onika, how could people not like this woman? She's an absolutely amazing person. And uh, she also spoke about, well, the worst accent that she feels like she, um, you know, does is the Jamaican accent. And it's not her first time even admitting that she has said that in the past. And um, she even refused to do the Jamaican accent. She did do the British accent. And she also spoke about her favorite song from Adele. Like, she spoke about a lot of things. But in all this, you guys, I am excited for Nicki Minaj. I'm excited for Pink Friday too. I'm excited for a lot of other things that are going to unveil you guys so if you haven't watched that entire video you guys on the Vogue channel it is there please go and check it out and do not forget to tell me which one of the outfits which one of the shoots which one of the pictures is your favorite personally the Papa Beer one and nails it for me followed by um you know the one with the hat honestly it's giving I'm grown I don't give an F I've proved myself in the industry now I can do whatever the F I want to do <laughs> and did you guys notice that majority of these uh, pictures are very, very modest, very modest. And she's out here with the blowouts. And I'm I'm loving this new Nicki Minaj. I'm telling you, um, if those people who say they don't see growth, uh, you're miserable. I'm sorry to tell you, but... <laughs> But hey, you guys, hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that. Ecstatic, you guys, um, you know, is the word. Ecstatic is the word i don't even know where to start from i might actually do another video where i properly break down what happened because right now i'm just over the moon i'm, I'm excited for Nicki minaj because i feel like she deserves all of the good things um you know that are coming her way and um the next thing that we're going to be talking about you guys Bongo 2 is out there having a rock um, you know, version of her song Cobra. Um, in the morning, I did tell you guys that, well, um, you know, she is being predicted to debut in the top 30. So now it seems like she has decided to revamp and go Doja Cat style. Now, some people feel like, well, the mix was rushed. Some people feel like, well, it goes in hard. Some people really uh, feel like, oh, well, it's Jay-Z inspired and things like that. But personally, I'm indifferent about this entire Cobra song, if I'm going to be honest. I'm not catching the hype. It's okay. Okay, you guys, you don't have to come in the comment section forcing me to say that I, I appreciate Cobra. But what I will admit is I feel like it's something way better than Bongos. In my own opinion, I feel like Cobra goes even in a way better, um, way better than, than Bongos. But that's just my opinion, you guys. So let me know about that in the comment section. Did you check out, um, you know, the rock version of Cobra or did you not? Okay. Thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And if you've got any other things that you would want me to talk about on this channel, please do feel free in the comment section to let me know, okay? Let me know in the comment section if there is something that you would want me to cover. Please do not hesitate, okay? Do not hesitate at all. I'm here. 
I am here. So thank you very much, you guys. We are still on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And if it is your second time joining us, you haven't subscribed and you have made it this far, it seems like, well, you're smart enough to even understand my accent. Kudos to you for that. But you know what would be more smarter? It's you subscribing. And if you've made it this far, you guys, and you don't like my content, do you know what would even make you powerful as a hater? Is to troll me from inside. So please, so please, even those that don't, that, that are here to troll, please subscribe so that you don't miss any opportunity to be trolling me in the comment section. <laughs> I love you so much, you guys. I totally love you. And until my next one, see you.